Today, man, Cave Tools, we're going to do a versus video between the variable triggered only flex impact driver versus the speed selector flex impact driver. This is on the lower end of the impact driver, and this is on the higher end. So let's just look at the specs and get to it. All right, so the variable trigger only with the five amp hour battery weighs four pounds and 8.6 ounces. And the battery on the, with this five amp hour is full. And the speed selector impact driver with the five amp hour battery weighs four pounds and 14.9 ounces. And this five amp hour battery is full as well. Let's see what the power difference is between these two. One more time, battery is full, battery is full. So let's get to it. This is not, uh, quick insert collet, you gotta adjust it to put it in. On this log, we are gonna do one eight inch timber lock each and one six inch spacks each. Then we're gonna move on to another log and increase the difficulty. Now, like I said, variable trigger only. And a quick insert collet. No, but if you push the eject button on the right underneath the collet, I think it goes in. Yep. This is going to be interesting. Time. I love this log. This is a, this is a tough log. All right, so let's take this one out. Time. This is a good way to break the tool in a little bit as well. And at the end, we are going to see what the battery life is for each of these. I, mean, I said this in many videos, I'm not a fan of this eject trigger that much, but you could really get used to that. I, I'd rather have the collet be a little bit more extended and I could just pull it out like that. All right, so next let's do the specs. And just so you guys know, versus videos coming up with only variable trigger only impact drivers. All right, next, let's do this right here. This should be perfect. My bad, we're gonna redo that. Let's take variables out. All right, let's switch out logs and increase the difficulty. All right, on the log, we are gonna do a four and a six inch lag each. And depending on how well the variable trigger actually operates, we'll might increase that into an eight inch lag. Let's see how this can do. That's time. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that eject button. It's not the fact that the eject button is there. It's the fact that uh, this has a, the collet is short. So I like to naturally do this. And at certain angles, it's just like, especially putting it on, it's uh, I wish this collet was a little bit longer. Like I keep saying, it's not a deal breaker. It is not a deal breaker. Time, yeah, there's a oh, little bit more. Time, there's a big difference between these two. The, these half inch uh, lags is what sets, is what shows you the difference between a weaker version of the same tool. Right, let's take it out. Time. I'm gonna show you one, one more time because it has a longer collet so much easier to take out. All right, so let's take this out. Oh, yeah. 
major difference between the two. Like, like this one, this impact driver actually is really powerful. It really is. All right, so let's do a six inch lag. Yeah, that's having major issues. That is having major issues. So we're actually going to, yeah, that has a long way to go. I'm not going to keep on going because I'm just going to break my adapter. So as you can see, that one had major issues. Let's see in how this one does. Time. Yeah, major difference in power. We don't need to go to eight inch lag. There is a major power between these two. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the variable trigger only uh, impact drivers no normally don't have as much power as the variable speed does, the, the versions. So not bad. So like, like this one is a powerful impact driver. Like, like this does, this will, will get stuff done, but. Time. I, I'll it, it, I think it can go a smidge more. Time. Let's see how well the variable trigger version takes this out. All right, it is unable to take it out. First, let's have it take its own out. And take out the other one. Time. Yeah, there's no reason to go on anymore. That's your proof right there. Proof is in the pudding on that one. So yeah, so as you guys can see that when it comes to these two, there is no comparison between this version and this version. Once again, this is model number FX1371A with a 5 amp hour battery. And this one is FX1351. The final battery life is three bars for the variable trigger only one. And the battery life on the higher end version is at full bars still. So but yeah, both of these have plenty of versus videos coming up and this one already has a lot of versus videos out. So if you want to watch more of this in action, go check it out. And so, yeah, yeah, like I said, Flex sent me this one. I bought this one. I bought the batteries. Uh, but Flex did send me this impact driver. Yeah, but this one is way better. This one, not so much. It's not garbage. It has its purpose. It has its good, decent power. But it doesn't compare to this version. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.